Hello everybody, welcome to Robin's Realm Readings. I have something to share with you today, very unique. This reading is going to be for those of you who just met someone or started dating them. And so Spirit wants me to talk about that with you. And I was inspired to create a new deck that I'm going to have printed out. Messages, what is it they would like to say to you? Whether they are saying it or not. And how does it affect your chances in having a relationship with them or a long-term healthy relationship with them? Okay, so that's the reading. Welcome in. Please hit the like button when you come in. Uh, it shows me respect. It shows other people the reading is good. And it tells YouTube that this is some good stuff. But thank you so much for that. Love you. Subscribe. Hit the all bell. Thank you for being here. Now a blessing to tap me into the spiritual realm. Tap me in spirit. my biggest ones either but I do love sorry I'm getting over a cold I went and played at a water park with some friends and I think the water was not so good um, they didn't get sick but I did thank God for that I'll get over it it's called zinc right all right my loves um, I'm gonna bring you this reading to find out what you're what they would like to say to you okay and if there's any hope of moving forward with them all right my loves so Give me a second to sanctify this space and myself with sacred holy anointing oil. You may purchase this on my website. It is very inexpensive and very fabulous for tapping you into spiritual energies. Love, romance, Holy Spirit, guides, your guides, my guides. Let's talk about this new person that my, my subscribers have, have been seeing and talking to, whether it's romantic or not. But I think more in a romantic context and a, the hope of a positive, long-lasting relationship, okay? So tap me into the messages for this reading. Wow. Okay, good. We will take what they gave us. Thank you. Oh. First card is secret admirer. Someone has the deeper feelings for you than they're letting on. Huh. Let's find out. Let's see. So who would this be so that my subscribers can determine who it is? That's admiring them. Whoa. Well, that was a death card reversal. Well, you got a page of swords buying on you. This is the energy of paying attention to you. Watching you from afar, watching your media stuff, watching your, looking at pictures of you, keeping an eye on your activity online. Wow, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, the spy. Tell me more about this spy. Two of coins. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Spirit, what is this? They're weighing out the options that they have right now. And they're trying to decide if they need if they should come towards you. This secret admirer of yours. Huh. What is this person's actual intention? Oh, to make a relationship out of this. Oh. Wow. Let's see. Since you met them, what, what do they want to say to you? I've never shuffled these, so I don't know how it works. What do they want to say to you? i got to get these on harder paper. Okay, what do they want to say to my subscribers? Help me to find it. These are so thin. 
Okay, I just made these this morning too, by the way. Spirit gave me the messages. All right, sometimes here, here's what they want to say. I really like you, but I need my, I need to take my time. I'm weighing things out in the balance and I think I'm trying, to, I think they're trying to get money together for you. Yeah. Four of, four of Wands is the marriage card, the celebration card, the outcome. The outcome is to be committed to you. The outcome is to be committed to you. And then we have the more loving care you give yourself, the more love you have to give others. Very, very good advice. What's the sacred destiny for this? Embracing, embracing change, embracing each other, becoming a team eventually. What's holding this person up? Money or someone else, ten of coins. That's having everything. That's substantial. Yeah. Home life, work, money, finances. Ten of coins. There that's ten though, so that's also an ending. I don't know what they're doing. Clarify that. Yeah. Well, they're trying to reestablish themselves back up, whoever you are, and get back and get the money on track. And they've, they have uh, ended a relationship with someone else. They're discussing it with inside how to end this one relationship because I think they found you. Will they? Let's see. The world card, yes, indeed. For some of you, they will end this and begin a new cycle. What does it entail for you? Three of Cups, rejoicing and celebration, lifting a toast to the universe and having a, a very good life. Whoever you are, you will know this. It will resonate perfectly with you. All right? Wow. So somebody here, I really like you, but I need to take my time. Before I can make a commitment to you, I've got to end something somewhere else. Okay, I love you. Thank you. That's for somebody. Now let's look at the rest of these beautiful messages and get on with this. Okay, my loves. So we had Secret Admirer. Now we have Soulmate. Yeah. Soulmate shows up. Wow. You're my soul. Your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this and they will manifest physically. Maybe you already have. Oh my gosh, you'll know for sure if it's you, right? Oh my gosh. Hmm. Cool. Okay, guys, let's see. What's up for my beautifuls? Who is this soulmate you met? Wow. Who is this soulmate you met or about to meet? You met this person, okay? We're talking about someone you're seeing, talking to, dating. What is it they want to say to you, right? So first we're going to take a look at who this might be for you. And you will know if this is your story or not. All right, who would this be for the soulmate message? Who is this energy coming forward, collective? What is it? Wow. Well, we have the world card. So apparently this person has broken some old karmic shifts, choosing to be with you. Two of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag, choosing that direction, that sacred path. Why? To find you. You are their, you're their everything. You're their destiny. This is destiny, the Wheel of Fortune. You've got fixed energies, broken like mad here, so they could find you. Oh my gosh, that's nice. All right, what is it they need to say to you, Lois? My soulmate message. How cool is this reading? They want to say to you, though, it's very important. They're making some shifts and changes. I run a business, and it takes a lot of my time. I, uh, we, should, we would set the weekend to enjoy our loving. So that's a message from that person for you. Yeah? And... Uh, 
What does the soulmate manifestation say? The soulmate manifestation says, follow your heart's desires. Manifest the heck out of your life. Yes, sir, me. And this message, keep it simple. Look at the colors here. For you, the colors are light and airy, and you've learned so much, and you're so divine. And this person sees that. And they know that you're their heart's desire. They're on their way, my loves. They are on their way. Okay, thank you, spirit. So, that's for somebody. Wow. We don't need to look at to who, any more than who this is because we have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, okay? That's what I see. Okay. Let's keep going. Look at the rest of these beautiful messages for you. All right, guys. All right. Quick shift. My beloved, though we may be physically apart, spiritually we are always united. For love transcends space and time and nothing is missing. I want to say that this person knows you. Even when you're not with them, they desire you so intensely. That's not a, that's not even a doubt. They feel like they're not a whole, um, complete without you. This is what I hear. But they also say that nothing is missing. So what a wonderful thing is you two of cups, three of cups. No, I'm sorry, four, um, four of cups, my beloved. There's somebody here missing the hell out of you. They're sitting at the tree going, I don't want any other offers. I can only think of my beloved. I can only connect with that one. We've got to do something about this. That's what I hear. Tell me about this beloved. This is Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, water, energy, emotion, passion, depletion, sorrow, unable to move forward with anything new, healing, the star card Aquarius. Healing from being blocked. Two of swords. Someone is blocked, but they know who you are. Yes, they do. Wow. Okay, we're getting somewhere with this one. So we have the four of cups for this energy who is in the process of healing and trying to find hope, and they found hope in one thing. They could psychically connect with you and send you some healing energy. <clears throat> but you've got them blocked, or they can't see what's going on with you. But they definitely know that faith without uh, faith is believing without seeing. So tell me about what this person intends to do. Do they ever intend to come forward? This person you just met, they may you may have them blocked. They know who you are though. Justice. They want justice and balance in this relationship. And what else? power font and they want you to have faith and they're having faith they want you to understand that this was a spiritual contract you two have and it must be served it must be addressed even if you can't be together maybe spiritually they can help you heal and get justice what is the soulmate manifestation i have found the one that my soul loves Ooh. What's the energy influencing this? Flow, energy, flow. So they're using spiritual energy to reach you. What's this? And their message to you is your lips taste like honey. I want to live on your sweet lips. Oh, they're dreaming of you. How nice. Okay, moving along. Thank you for that. My beloveds, let me get these shuffled up good. Okay, sweeties, let's do this. One on this. So that's someone that's uh, longing for you. They believe that you can heal them. Okay. 
and they think your lips taste like yum yum. Wow, these are good messages today. When it comes to matters of the heart, there's no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding of life. So that's about this new person. And I don't know why you feel that way about this new person. Uh, so you're just like open-minded, willing to take a good look at everything involved with them. Let's see who this is. Wow. Marriage card popped out, the four, the celebration card. Maybe you're having fun with somebody or they want to have fun with you. It connects. It could be. Tell me about this. Tell me about this. Nine of Wands. Oh, someone's feeling guilty about feeling burdened in that, that connection. Um, someone wants you and you don't know if you're ready to take it. The sun is here though to bring you some healing. So this could be a Leo. And because uh, you got fire, 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 Leo. And it could be a Leo. Tell me about this Leo. This is healing though. They want to heal from all the burdens. They don't know how. Okay. I'll tell you how. Jesus. Here we go. Yeah. Someone that you met feels burdened um, by a marriage they might be in already. And they want your energy to heal them. They don't feel like they have any choice at this time. The Seven of Cups in reverse over the Nine of, nine of Wands tells me that someone just doesn't... Uh, they got one more shot. They're giving it one more shot. Clarify. Yeah. Two of Cups. They think you're their Two of Cups. They think you're their soulmate, honey. They really do. They think you're their soulmate. Tell me more about that. King of Cups in reverse. So this is someone that uh, is not patient with their situation and they're internally burdened with you or the relationship or something. God, when it comes to matters of the heart, there's no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love. Someone's met a soulmate. They believe they can heal this relationship. Even though they're married, it burdens them that they have, they have these passions, temperance in reverse, king of cups, and they just want to get out and just love the whole wide world. Because um, this is fantasy, but I think this is um, fantasy in reverse. They're trying to heal themselves at your expense, just so you know. Okay? That's what I have with this person. Oh, God. They say there's no right or wrong. But if they're healing at your expense, then what are you getting out of it? All right, think about that. You'll feel it. This life is a great big canvas. Throw all the paint you can on it. Ta! This is about adventures. Now listen, you could be deciding to go and date someone you've never ever um, dated before. And then you're like, wow, this is interesting. So what would they like to say to you, this new person that you're talking to? Oh my God, you are indeed my twin, the twin soul I've been searching for. Wow. Wow. Adventure, two of cups, twin soul, and the twin flame card. It's an adventure, this relationship, into healing a twin flame union. Oh, wow. Hello, guys. What a great reading that was. Okay, guys, let's see. If you want your own private reading, we can do one. Uh, reach me at robinsroundreadings.net. Everything is in the box below. I have a wish list for things I need for my business. Um, I have Teespring. T oh, my God. I reduced the price of my T-shirts and, and coffee cups to sacred numbers and affordable numbers. So you would be blessing my, my life and my channel very much. If you went ahead and made a purchase on a lovely t-shirt or something. Bless me. Thank you. I love you. I'm doing my part. One more message. Look inside yourself. Now we're talking about someone you just met. 
Let me see how we're doing on time. Yeah, we're talking about somebody you're dating, Matt, what they haven't said to you, what they want to say to you, what they could want to say to you. Examine what's causing you to feel the way you do. That doesn't mean anything. You could be in love. I mean, seriously. Really, right? Here we go. Tell us about looking inside in this relationship. They want you to look at yourself. Um, this is the person speaking to you. They want you to look inside yourself for what? Who is this spirit? Who is this person here that's instructing talk that they're dating and we're talking to? Chariot could be a cancer. They're on the move. They may be coming toward you. They may be taking you up. You may be journeying and traveling with them and having long conversations about how you're feeling about life and things. And cancers are very sensitive and kind. And if they can, they will help you get to the bottom line. Mm -hmm. Also, this must, might be a therapist. Yeah. That might be a therapist, but I don't know. We also have... Oh, that's not your card. And so tell me about this looking as... Uh, I got it. It was your card. That was your card. Eight of Swords. Somebody thinks that they met you and they think you have a lot of problems. They think you keep yourself in lockdown with somebody. I don't know who it is. That's their first impression of you. Is uh, they, they want you to heal this and get on the move from... Move away from anything that causes you distress. They think that a lot of the things that you are thinking about are um, unnecessary. And their will, this is uh, Aries Little Sag, their will is for you to start over again. Look inside and get a brand new start. Do they want a new start with you? Let's see. Six of Coins is reciprocity. Even Steven, sharing things, sharing energy, sharing resources, and the hermit. Pulling back, using incredible wisdom. The hermit is wise, quiet to himself, wise. He pulls back and he gets, an, he gets education, he gets maturity, and he seeks God's face. And he looks at ways to do things. What do we have here? Someone's concerned about someone's security. This person that you met, yeah, what do they want to say to you? I have to get these on, on thicker cards. What would they want to say to you, my love, about this looking inside? This person that you're visiting with, they want you to know that this relationship will not last as far as intimate, okay, intimate, serious. I'm not ready to commit. I'm going to keep going. That's this one here. I'm sorry, you guys. That's what it came up as. Never make permanent decisions on temporary feelings. Okay, so that was a very good message for someone. If you'd like your own private message or reading, just contact me. I'll, I'll be happy to, to bless you. Okay? So this was uh, my introduction to my new set of messages. Um, that I have personally created and they will be going on cards very soon and for sale very soon um, I haven't decided what to name them but you just got first exposure on some of them and by God it's so friggin honest see we readers can do this because we hear all this stuff we're very familiar okay for that for now my loves moi, moi, namaste I love you I hope you have a good day and take very good care of yourselves, okay?